Yeah, hi there, Abdul Aziz. This is Michael. And you, my friend, are one of my students right now. Thank you for contacting me. So uh, you're working pretty hard. So you got your first TOEFL score last December. You got 83, 16 on reading, 20 on the listening, 23 in the speaking, and 24 in the writing. So writing is super strong. Speaking is not far behind. So it looks like for your first attempt, I think you're doing a pretty good job on that. So you said, uh, I need to focus on reading and listening skills, which need to be improved more than the others. So to recommend interesting readings, uh, I like detective stories, technology-related topics, and declaration of things that happened in the past, such as World War II, because I could find a way to pick up some reading that are suitable to my level of vocabulary. So then your last question was, any idea where to start on writing SOP? I'm not sure what that last idea means here. So your goal is 95, though. So your best bet with reading, I think what would be a great thing for you is you have really two choices. The first choice is to go to a bookstore. If you're in the United States, a, a good bookstore would be Barnes & Noble. So what you do is you go into the bookstore, you talk to one of the workers and tell them what you told me. You know, can you recommend some interesting readings? Tell them that you like detective stories or technology related topics or historical type things. You tell them that and then they will show you in the bookstore what books focus in those different categories. Now, the other thing you can do is to go online. There are online bookstores. Even Barnes & Noble is, is also online. So I think for there, you go to an online bookstore and you, again, start looking at the different categories of the different types of books. And then you find one which interests you. And then what you can do is read the reviews. You can read other people's opinions about the book, and that can help you make a decision uh, if you want to read the book. And even when you're reading their opinions about the book, you're still practicing your reading, right? So I think either use the internet or go to a bookstore and uh, find the book that you like. So there's just there's literally hundreds or thousands of choices that that you can um, choose from, and the main thing is. You said you, you couldn't find a way to pick up a reading that's suitable to your level of vocabulary. Uh, I would not, because of the, the high TOEFL score that you want, don't try to find a book that matches your vocabulary, but just find a book that's written to native speaker adult people, you know, in the United States or Britain or somewhere. So what you have to do is to pull yourself up to the level of the vocabulary of the book. You don't want to find a book that fits you right now. You have to push yourself so you widen and increase your vocabulary base. Alrighty. Anyway, thank you for contacting me and uh, keep up the good work. And remember that you know you took this test for the first time. Uh, and you did really well and you just need to work a little bit more in the uh, reading and the listening areas and you can definitely make those improvements.